What is up guys, it's Gamesty here. Today I'm bringing you a settlement tour of the Jamaican Plains settlement, which I have chosen to use as a main trading settlement, equipped with a bunch of different trading posts and everything I need for trading. As we go around the front gate, you see all these signs, which looks very welcoming. Obviously use the rug glitch to get all those fences in, along with all the defenses and everything. Around this side, this is where I have most of the trader, traders' homes, doubled up as a wall to keep all the raiders and those pesky ghouls out. Which brings us to the back entrance, which the settlers use when accessing that road. And also the main building there, which turned out really, really well using different glitches and all this other stuff. All the defenses, the walls, everything turned out really well in this settlement. Now we get a higher view. And I really like this kind of perspective as you can see all the different layers and the details and everything. And even from the chapel as you can see the layout of the um, the trading center there. The top high buildings, everything. All the defenses. I really, really like this settlement. Probably, I don't know if I'd say I like it over Sanctuary, but since it's quite a small space, I think I did well with it. Now, actually, into the settlement. As we open the gate, we're welcomed by a bunch of different um, trading posts, along with a nice guard post. Make sure no one's fucking about. Obviously, these designs came, uh, came from no respawns. If you haven't already seen his videos, check him out, and you probably do know who he is. Um, yeah, I really like how this... I say that too fucking much. But yeah, I do like how it turned out. Now to the kind of offices here to the left. We have some communication offices, which, you know, might be used to, you know, call the Minutemen if we need any backup or anything. And here's just a chill spot for the traders to come and ruin all my hard work I used to get those chess boards and stuff on the table. And as we come up here, here's kind of the more higher end homes that the people who run the joint have, even though it's still pretty shit. Um, I really like... How it's decorated. Even got a kitchen. It's not much of a kitchen, but it does a job, you know. It does a job. Fucking, I'm so shit at this game. <laughs> um, as we come down here, there's another kind of I don't know what to fucking call it veranda thing. Which is more of a defensive based one. Um, you know, to just guard the trading area, make sure no one's come to steal any of any of my things. And also has a nice view of the traders' homes back there. That's where they all live. This is actually the interior of one of the little traders' things. I decorated them all, obviously, because I don't have a life. What else would I do with my life? And as we go down the back, we have another. We have another shop, the ca uh, clinic, along with a bar where everyone can come and chill, have some drinks, have some Nuka Cola, watch some Please Stand By television. Um, I use the rug glitch and decorated with a lot of these drinks and junk to make this place feel like it's really lived in. Now as we come up these winding staircases which people always love to block me on we have s this other chill spot we can just KB with the lads and uh, listen to some sick diamond radio tunes. Through here we have rooms to rent or beds to rent I guess which is why it looks really shit. 
And of course we have more defenses on the roof along with some guard posts and some other defensive um, points of view from the road and everything surrounding. I'm not a synth, don't worry mate. Settle. This actually is really cool what I managed to do here. Connect those two three to through to um, the roof of these settlement homes along with some more guard posts to keep our settlers safe. I've, uh, I've got some more news for you, if you're interested. I like how these all these roofs um, managed to connect very well and wasn't much of a hassle. There's that little town of Covenant. This brings us to the little settlers homes well, well, down the bottom here all decorated nicely with all the essentials of course but only the essentials because that's all they need that is all they need most of the time they're out there hustling trading trying to work their way ups way ups way up Just small two, two by one houses. That's pretty much the whole settlement. As as we come back through up those stairs, brings us back to the trading post. Oh no, there is one more thing: the workshop and this little raised um, shop that I think. I'm not going to say turned out well, but it did turn out well. <laughs> yeah, of course, the workshop at the back here, along with all, all my storage, and a nice view of the incredible structure above. This doesn't really have much in it, just the workshop, you know, power armor station. Also, this little post here worked out really well. It's like a guard post with a um, turret on the top which has a good view of that road back there and that brings us to the end of the tour as we close the gates and back up I would like to thank you guys for watching make sure to like, comment, subscribe and comment and comment because I want to know what you guys want to see if you like these videos or not I just don't really know what to do with this channel. If you want to see other kind of video games, if you want to watch me play GTA, COD with my friends, anything, just let me know. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.